Hello everyone. This is my first attempt at an alternative process of photographic printing. Uh, it's called anthotype and it was one of the earliest forms of photography uh, cr created by a guy named Herschel something who actually uh, invented the word photography. And uh, what it consists of is um, combining uh, flowers or fruits or whatever you can uh, in making them into a soup. I, that's my little soup right there. I used a blender and a bag of strawberry, blueberry, and some other blackberry concoction that they sell for food at Grocery Outlet. And I put it in a blender and blended it and added denatured alcohol, which is basically your fuel stove fuel. Just a little bit, about a cap full, and not much, as you can see, of the um, mixture of the fruit. Put it in the blender and created a concoction, then put it through cheesecloth to get out all the seeds in that. So I just strained it through some cheesecloth, and then I um, created this little concoction here which I painted on some very inexpensive watercolor paper. Uh, and I painted it with a regular brush. There's your watercolor paper. It's a 120 pound Canson. They sell it to everywhere in these uh, places like Hobby Lobby, etc. And I used a regular paintbrush, which I dampened and made it, patted it dry so that it would be moist enough that it wouldn't soak up all the juice. And then I painted the paper with it. And now I'm just, it's just about dry. I, I help dry it with a fan. And then this, I, I've actually made a contact frame, but this is a cheaper form of a contact frame. And it has, um, I, I bought rubber bands to put around the ends to make it tight. And it's just one of those frames that are clip frames that you can buy anywhere, fairly inexpensive, buy at a Hobby Lobby or Michaels or something like that. And then my plan is to put the rubber bands at either end to tighten this piece of paper against this positive internegative, or positive, interpositive, they call it, of an image I took. Now I copied this image with my copier on, as you'll see here, some uh, transparency paper. And it's not a negative. I could make a negative, but you don't want to make a negative for this process. You want to make a positive. But I tried to have high contrast. Uh, so you see the blacks uh, in, in between the clouds and in between the grasses and, of course, on the juniper tree. And then you have the whites against the blacks in the mountains. Hopefully this will work. It may be the wrong photograph. It may not. But what I do is I take this negative or a positive, I should say, it's called an interpositive, and I place it on top of this coated piece of paper and put it in this glass and uh, etc. cetera, a glass uh, with a backing sandwich, clip it with my uh, rubber bands, and then I'm going to take it out here and place it on this easel facing the sunlight to the south where it gets lots of sunlight. And I'll just uh, have it, you know, face out towards the sun and leave it there for about a week. Here's the easel at the window. Uh, a week and check it and see how it's coming along and maybe two weeks. But what the idea is, I'll go back to the uh, room where I have the, um, work the paper drying the idea is that the black in the image protects the substance uh, that I painted and the white areas or the lighter areas will fade out based on the sunlight so it's a slow process it's a primitive process but an interesting process because it's so inexpensive and the materials are so cheap once again, there's my interpositive waiting to be placed on top of my coated with berries and denatured alcohol piece of watercolor paper. 
sandwiched into my clip frame using rubber bands to hold it together and then placed in the window to um, develop over a period of about a week or two. I'll uh, add another video to this to show how it's going along. Thanks again. Bye. Welcome to part two of how to make an anthotype. As I explained in part one, an anthotype is a very primitive form of photography created by a fellow named Herschel, Sir Herschel or Lord Herschel, uh, who um, uh, figured out a way to take uh, plants like flowers, I think antho uh, is a Greek for flowers, or berries or other organic substances and uh, make them into a soup, add a little denatured alcohol and paint it on a piece of uh, art paper, like I, I've used watercolor paper, and then uh, put a uh, positive, what's called an interpositive on top of it after it's dried and then expose it to the sun over a period of a week or two and you'll get a, uh, a photographic image. Now I um, want to show again the denatured alcohol that I mixed a cap full with a small amount of blackberries, blueberries, and strawberries I got at the frozen department uh, at a grocery store put it in a blender and blended it into a soup and then I strained it through some cheesecloth into this glass and uh, that was what I painted on the watercolor paper. It's a 120 pound Canson water paper, color paper that is very inexpensive and then used a clip frame. Well I had a, I did uh, have to print a interpositive of my photograph on some transparency and then I uh, Play, dried the um, watercolor paper, placed it on top of the backing, which is like a hard cardboard for the uh, clip frame, then placed the watercolor paper down, then placed the interpositive on top of it, and then the glass, and then I used the rubber bands at either end to clip it into place and hold it tight together, like a sandwich. Now, uh, normally when you do alternative photography, you'll want to put your uh, negative, inter-negative, in this case an inter-positive, face to face with your paper so that there's no glass space between so you get a, a perfect contact. In this case I don't think it's going to matter because what we're doing is just blocking out light from fading out part of the photograph. Uh, the reason why I didn't put it face to face was because I forgot to flip it horizontally and that would reverse the image. If, if I did it now, it would have reversed the image. So I just decided, well, let's just put it face up. It probably won't make a difference. Um, there is a way to make a very inexpensive um, internegative or interpositive using just typing paper and, and uh, printing out your photograph on it, turning it upside down on a hot plate with a, a towel to protect the hot plate or the paper, and then just rubbing the backside with beeswax. And that will make your uh, typing paper transparent or, or almost transparent. And there you've got a very inexpensive um, internegative uh, to use for these alternative processes. The revolution in alternative process photography is that you can create digital negatives of any size, which they couldn't do before. They were just limited to the size of the film that they used. Uh, so that's a great development. So now I'm going to take this out and develop it over a period of two or three weeks. So I'm heading out with it uh, to the uh, sunlight. And I'll have to set the uh, camera down for a second here. And as you see, uh, there it is facing the sunlight 
won't have to worry about the wind blowing it or anything and uh, we'll get hopefully a lot of sunlight here in the next week or two and we'll have a great image thanks again bye hello everyone my name is John Williams and this is my third video on a series of videos that I will be doing on alternative photographic processes as I learn them. This video is about uh, creating a digital negative or intrapositive on typing paper rather than using transparencies. This is my second attempt. I'll show you my first attempt later. But as you see, uh, and this is, by the way, for contact printing. That's one of the uh, main ways of printing alternative photographic processes that began. The one I'm doing now began, uh, anthotype began in 1840. So we're talking about going back a ways. Uh, my second attempt here, the way I did this, is I got a hot plate and set it over the stove burner and got it at about a medium heat. And then I, uh, my, this photograph uh, is made a print, a black and white print on typing paper, which I ran through my Canon copier. And this is the back side of it. So you're actually looking through it now. And what I did is I coated the back side uh, as this lay on a hot towel on a hot plate with this white beeswax. And once I got it thoroughly coated, of course, you could see the image coming through. I took a paper towel and I wiped off all the excess, excess um, beeswax. And so now this is the uh, final version. I'm going to show you the first version, which I decided probably wouldn't work uh, in just a minute. But I'm going to hold this up to the window to see uh, how... I like this a lot better. It had more highlights in it. That looks pretty good. I think uh, that would make a... It might work as far as uh, letting enough light through to do an exposure. And of course, I'm doing a three or two week exposure, so I got plenty of time. I'm using anthotype, which I described in an earlier video. But I'm going to take this into the room where I have the other uh, set up in a contact frame and show you the contact frame as well. So my little one-room studio is over here. And I wanted to show you the first version, which I've already placed on the, um, in the contact frame with the rubber bands. Now, this contact frame cost me about $3 because it's just an old um, picture frame that I uh, found at a uh, thrift store or something like that. And uh, what I did to uh, secure the um, the uh, this uh, intranegative or interpositive of the uh, hawk, uh, and then of course put it over the paper, and there's glass on top, and there's a backing. And the way I secured it is just by uh, cutting a piece of uh, wood, and then I actually decided to create more leverage on the wood by putting in some old. Uh, pieces of foam board that I'd cut. So that's how I've got the backing set up and I'm just going to set it in the window and, and let the exposure work. But I'm going to use this um, internegative, interpositive um, instead of that one because I, I think this one has enough highlights that it'll make a lot better uh, photograph. So thank you very much. Uh, that's uh, my little piece on um, making uh, digital negatives out of typing paper and wax.